Hey everyone, this is Justin again. I'm going to be hitting up the Romans Road today. Now for those of you who don't know what the Romans Road is, it's a perfect path through the book of Romans in the Bible where a new Christian can just read these verses or these chapters that are kind of linked together and it gives a perfect summary of, of salvation and the character of God and, and it's, just, it's, it's just great material for a new Christian. So uh, without any further ado, let's dive right in in Romans chapter 5. Although I'm going to tell you right now, in order to get proper context with the Romans road and this path we're going to be walking down here, uh, I want you to understand that I'm going to be reading a little earlier uh, than, than Romans 5, 8, just so we can have proper context. So uh, Romans verse, I'm going to start in Romans chapter 5, verse 5, and it says, Now hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Verse 6, For when we were still without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Now, I, would, I just want to stop there. This means, and this is, this is something that all Christians should understand, not just new Christians, is that Christ died for everyone. Even, if I can just point blank say this, even your worst enemy, even someone that you just can't stand, even, let's go even farther. Let's just go even farther than that. Let's go farther. Even people that the world would say are evil. I'm going to drop a couple names here. Hitler, Pol Pot, Stalin. Many of these men were, were uh, leaders and, and they, they did horrific thing, horrific things that that most of humanity would, would describe as evil or ungodly. This says that Christ even died for them. Let's keep going. Verse 7, For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. All this is saying is, is listen, it's hard to find a good man that would even die for someone who's righteous. So, so it's, there's not that many people out there that would die for their neighbor. And that's the point. In verse 8, this is the meat. Don't lose this. Let's, let's grab onto this. Verse 8 says, But God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Remember those wicked people that we just brought up? Christ died for them. I'm, uh, I myself am not a perfect, perfect human being. And before I, I was <laughs> counted among the saints, if you will, because Jesus said uh, once we're in his family, we, we are accounted as, as righteous. Before that, Christ died for me. That's something to think about. Let's keep going just a little bit further. This is verse 9. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath from him um, from the wrath through him. Verse 10. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Let me sum this up very quickly. We don't deserve the love of Christ that, that he gave for us. But you know what? Even though we, even though the, the not, not even we, the, the, the atheist down the street that absolutely hates Christ, Christ loves him and he died for him anyway even in his unsaved state. No greater man, and I'm quoting Jesus here, there's no greater love than this. If a man were to lay down his life for a friend. This is Justin trying to give you tools to walk the talk and live a better Christian life. We love you.